hackers cause real world damage and blackouts as targeted ransomware goes after utilities and industrial control systems. Yeah, that's it's a bit of a long, <laughs> uh, bit of a long intro there, but uh, there's some good meat to it, I think. Yeah, I think ransomware targets ICS is probably the big thing. Well, there's a number of trends. I don't know if you want to start too. I, we have seen ransomware kind of plateauing as far as this opportunistic attack. Mm -hmm. And when I say opportunistic, you know, between 2013 and 2016, bad guys were just spamming ransomware to everybody. They didn't care if it was a grandma. They didn't care if it was a Fortune 500 company. They had relatively approachable extortion amounts of 300 bucks, which even a grandma can afford to How get a kind picture of them? back. I know. Thank you very much for that. That that affordable. <laughs> Do I get a sale on Black Friday with my ransomware? Can I get <laughs> half off my extortion? Oh man, I just yeah. thought of a good business idea. Oh no, stay on the. I mean, stay with the the light side. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, so obviously bad guys have been uh, opportunistically going after everyone, but that's kind of faded away. I mean, people are more aware of ransomware now. I think protections are a little bit better. And what we've seen happen just this year is much more targeted attacks. I mean, you might have some examples of some of the targeted ones. I'd say a really good one was the city of Atlanta. Yeah. They got absolutely destroyed by ransomware. I think for, Sam Sam was the one there. Yeah, uh, for about like a month at a time. And we've seen a lot of ones target um, larger companies. They I haven't seen any names disclosed yet, but yeah. um, a lot of ransomware these days are going after companies with even larger extortions too yeah. because they've done Healthcare the Healthcare is a big one too. Like it started a few years back with the Hollywood Presbyterian Hospital, but there's been everywhere from big health centers to, to small ones. And when they get hit, it's not just one computer in the organization, it's many. And the ransom amount goes up to the 20K or even higher range. I think they were at one point asking millions from the city of Atlanta. Insane. So, so the point is, this year they've been targeting municipalities and healthcare, and they've increased the ransomware amount a lot. Mm -hmm. And the reason they're targeting those two is because they're kind of critical organizations. Like if healthcare loses their patient data, it stands still for them, right? It's a big deal. So that they know not only is there a high likelihood that they might pay if they don't have an effective way of getting back online, but that they will pay much more than the three hundred dollar consumer ransomware. Same for the city, uh, you know, the cities and municipalities, which have been happening even on small township levels. So we just extended that a little further in that. Well, what's another type of target that's a critical risk for? you know, everybody really, is public utilities and industrial control. Yep. If ransomware can infect, you know, the back offices of that, which by the way, that back office often has the human interface device or the SCADA software that controls the actual industrial control. They don't have to actually infect the plant. They just make it hard to manage the plant. Again, the idea is a bigger ransom because you can't have, you know, the lights going off because of WannaCry or whatever. It seems like uh, another opportunity for a nation state style attack. Too. Absolutely. I mean, we've seen uh, North Korea now linked with WannaCry as a obvious attempt to earn money. And not Petya with Russia. Yeah. And in both cases, they used a ransomware, which was legitimately something spreading around consumer for criminal activity, but they used it kind of as a false flag for a nation state attack. So I think you have both factors. Criminals might understand that they could get ransom from that. Plus, it's a convenient way for a nation state to hide uh, what their real motive would be. So possibility, hopefully we don't see the lights yes. go off, but uh, uh, definitely something that could happen. And, and if you take anything from it, it really is the trend of ransomware is no longer being blasted to everyone. That could change, by the way. There could be a new variant that suddenly comes to everyone. But right now it seems to be going after certain critical uh, verticals and asking for bigger amounts of ransom in return. So what's our defensive tip for this? Uh, turn off your power preemptively and just <laughs> go ahead and get the hamster going on the, the wheel? Yeah, we just thought we should go Luddite. So we should get rid of all technology, <laughs> assume an EMP's happened, and start to build our little caves with yeah. uh, lots of stockpiles of food. There we go. And in fact, <laughs> if you just get rid of all your computers, then you don't have to worry about hackers. And there you go. Problem solved. <laughs> well, the good news is, I mean, the, the ransomware hasn't changed all that much. Uh, the things that catch WannaCry and not Petch are the same things that could have caught CryptoLocker a while ago. We're getting better with more proactive malware detection. Uh, so I think all the defense we've talked about, you and I have pushed advanced malware detection for a long time. Mm -hmm. You know, I think even the, the most legacy AV companies started to move away from purely signal 
signature based stuff and doing more proactive techniques. And don't forget backups too. Uh, absolutely. And I, I think, by the way, we, we often just say backups, but for these critical systems, it's not just having the backup, it's the speed of recovery. Yep. So you really need to invest in modern backup systems that you know, uh, restoring a tape backup is actually a, a pretty long process. What's a tape? <laughs> I know. <laughs> well, these cassettes that I had, I used to put a pencil in and fix the... <laughs> Anyways, uh, so definitely look into the more modern ones. Cloud-based ones or ones that actually can use fast connections to recover you quickly are probably a good idea. And Virtualization where you can re re reset snapshots pretty quickly. There's a lot of backup. I can't give you their names because I don't know them, but there's a lot of backup solutions I've seen where they actually do basically image a computer over time yeah, so yeah. you can instantly restore Snap back. back to the image immediately. Yeah. yeah. Um, so no heavily recommend those. But yeah, could be very useful in the event of a ransomware attack. Absolutely.